Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to this video and I hope you're all doing good and you've been uh, learning the Kubernetes series. Um, I hope it's helpful. So um, for those of you watching new, uh, new viewers to this video, I would recommend you to watch um, all my previous videos. Um, uh, the basic uh, requirement is to have a Kubernetes cluster up and running to be able to follow all other uh, videos. So I've done two videos. One is to is how to set up Kubernetes cluster using Vagrant provisioning and the other one is how to do it manually using kubeadm. So if you haven't watched those videos, um, I would advise you to watch those videos first uh, to get a good understanding. Right, back to business. What I'm going to be doing in this video is to show you how to um, schedule pods to a specific node in the cluster. Um, why we need to do this? Um, think, think of it as a, a, a Kubernetes cluster with uh, different hardware, different machines. Uh, the machine specification might be different. So you've got uh, machines with faster CPU, you've got machines with certain versions of uh, softwares installed, certain, you've got machines with uh, faster disk, You've got machine with certain piece of hardware. You've got machines with uh, uh, with graphical processing unit GPUs. And uh, if you want your application to run on certain type of hardware, you can use. Um, you can specify which node you want um, your application, your pod, uh, to be scheduled on. So that's what we're going to see in this video. Um, the concept we're going to see here is node selector. So if you've got a cluster and uh, you've got various different types of machines and you and you want to target a specific class of machines uh, for your application, uh, the way to go is to use node selector. How, basically how it works is you got to assign labels to your nodes. For example, if a node has got a, uh, a faster disk, you can assign a label say for example uh, disk type equals fast or disk type equals SSD um, and uh, CPU type is GPU um, or GPU present equals true it, it works this it works like this so you've got to assign labels to nodes and then when it comes to deploying the pod you can specify which node um, you want this pod to be scheduled on so that's what we're going to see here all right, as usual, I'm going to start my cluster. I'm going to start bringing up my cluster. I haven't got any virtual machines running. All right, it's clean, and uh, I'm going to cd to my play directory, and I'm going to clone my GitHub repository. Just me and open source Kubernetes. cd to Kubernetes and then to Vagrant provisioning and do Vagrant up. So this is going to provision a master node and two worker nodes. I'm going to pause the video here and come back when it's ready. Right, the machines are all up. Vagrant has provisioned as three machines. I'm going to open a TMAX session. And um, I'm going to copy the kube config configuration so that I can run kubectl commands from my host machine, make directory under my home directory dot cube and I'm going to scp etc kubernetes admin dot conf to config under my dot cube directory kubectl cluster infa kubectl get notes right so we've got all our notes in the ready status. All right, now let's concentrate, focus on the objective of this video. If I go one level above, I'm going to use the same YAML files that I used in my previous video. So if I go into the YAMLs directory, and uh, I'm going to use the nginx deployment YAML file here. Okay, so kubectl get nodes minus o wide os image that's okay the first thing we got to do is we're going to try as an example here i'm going to deploy an nginx pod 
um, to K worker two. Uh, so I'm going to attach a label to K worker two, just um, a, a dummy label. So to attach a label to node, what you got to do is kubectl label command, kubectl label node k worker two dot example dot com, and the label is going to take um, key equals value pair. So I'm going to say um, disk type equals fast, or CPU equals uh, fast. Um, anything you, you could do anything uh, R um, demo server equals true something like this now let's go with this one demo server equals true okay the label has been attached now we can see kubectl get node k worker to dot example dot com minus minus show labels so you can see the label here demo server equals true you've also got a couple other labels architecture is amd64 um, os is linux host name equals kworker2 okay so now let's see how we can modify our deployment to make use of this label um, if i edit nginx deployment go all the way to the bottom and in the part specification I'm going to add an entry called node selector and I'm going to give the label here uh, the label we attached is demo server true okay um, maybe try to put it in double quotes close this one and if we try to deploy this YAML file it should provision the pod on the K worker 2 where we have the label attached it should not provision on K worker 1 watch kubectl get all minus O wide okay and uh, I think we created it with two replicas yep Okay, so let's try and start it. kubectl create minus f. Hang on a second. Let me first uh, change the replicas to one. So let's just start one container, one pod. kubectl create minus f. Deployment is created. So now you can see the pod has been created and it's running on kworker2. So let's look at the, uh, let's describe the pod. kubectl describe pod nginx, pipe that to less. Here you should be able to see the node selector. Let's try to find it. Recent container is getting created, conditions, pod scheduled, volume, node selector. There you go. So you can see it here, node selector. So view specified that the pod should be scheduled on a node where the demo server equals true option is set that's basically a label okay the pod is running now let's try to scale the uh, uh, replica to two kubectl scale deploy nginx deploy replicas equals two so i'm going to increase the replication count to two and it should provide you the second pod on the same node K worker 2 if it didn't have the node selector uh, by default it picks up the uh, the node with uh, the scheduler picks up the node with uh, uh, more resources available and it tries to schedule spread the load across multiple machines in the cluster so if we didn't go for the node selector and if I do this command trying to increase the replica to 2 it would create the pod on K worker 1 but now we've used node selector and we want our pods to specifically go to k worker 2 let's see what happens now it's scaled and you can see the second pod also got created sorry it's this one the second one also got created on the same node k worker 2 so that is how you use node selector 
um, you can use OS name, you can use OS type, architecture, arch architecture type, 64-bit, 32-bit, x86, 64, AMD, 64, i686, so on. Uh, based on OS, whether it's uh, CentOS, Red Hat, Suzy, uh, distribution name, uh, lo lots of other factors, and basically you want to attach label uh, to it, right? kubectl delete deploy nginx deploy. Okay, that's gone, and that's it for this video. And hope uh, you've learned something new in this video. And uh, if you've got any questions or comments, drop me a comment, and I should be able to respond to you. And um, have a great day. I should see you in my next video. Bye bye.